Hi there, my name is Rose Grunewald. I'm an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! And I've got a card tutorial that will show you how to make this pretty trifold card using the um, Paper Blooms paper that is, whoops, turn at this angle, um, for free during celebration here um, January and February 2021. And it also uses the stamp set from the You Are Amazing kit that's in the new um, January to June spring mini catalog. Um, what you're about to watch is a clip from my catalog kickoff live event on Monday, January 4th. And you'll just see that card um, tutorial from that kickoff. Uh, just a reminder that I go live <clears throat> on my Facebook page, Country Cards by Rose, every Monday evening at seven o'clock. So if you haven't liked that Facebook page, hop on over there to do that so that you can be part of the fun and the prizes and the comments and the shares. And we have a really great time. So I hope you enjoy this tutorial and I'll be seeing you soon. Make it super easy for you guys to get that card kit. Okay, so next card you are gonna love this card it is a fun fold it is amazing let me move some of my stuff because i'm gonna need all the desk space i can get i get a little crazy it's like a craft tornado when i'm going live here okay this stamp set it's a cling stamp set it is something that you can order with one of our kits that is going live starting tomorrow in the spring catalog. So when you get this kit, it will come all packaged up in this beautiful box. And when you open it, everything you need is in here to make these projects, okay? Including your twine. Now listen, when you order this kit with this stamp set, you're at 70 bucks, you're already picking a free celebration item. And you're gonna get to make 16 cards plus more, especially if you pick paper as your free celebration item with this kit. Now, let me just show you for a minute. Look at how adorable these cards are. Is this not cute? And of course they're white on the inside. You can stamp the inside. I love the glimmery. Can you see that sparkly? Easy, wonderful. Everything is cut out to do these. Isn't that beautiful? I love this kit. This is probably my favorite kit that Stampin' Up! has um, ever come out with. Isn't that cute? You get to make all of these. When you buy that kit and pair it with the stamp set. Now I'm going to use this stamp set to make a fun fold for you. So let me move my stuff out of the way here. Okay, <clears throat> I'm going to use my favorite dies lately. I go to these dies a lot. These are the Stitch So Sweetly dies. And we're going to use a little ribbon, of course, because you know I can't have a card without ribbon. And I've got a piece of the same designer series paper that we made those three strips out of. Super versatile. This is a freebie with celebration starting tomorrow called Paper Blooms. And I've got a few card layers here. So these are scraps that I'm going to use. And I've got, okay, so my designer series paper is cut five and a quarter by 12. And we're going to score this in a minute. And then I've got a little scrap of Whisper White that is measured three and an eighth by two. Um, this is Blushing Bride, four and three quarters by three. Whisper White, four and three quarters by three. 
More Blushing Bride, three and a quarter by five. And I am missing a piece of vellum that I'm going to have to cut really quick. Uh, I thought that I cut it, but it's looking like I did not. No problem. I'll just cut that now quick. <clears throat> So this is, uh, the vellum is also going to be three and a quarter by five. Three and a quarter by five. Now with this five and a quarter by 12 piece, you're going to want to very lightly, very lightly because this designer series paper, um, it's not as thick as cardstock. So we're gonna score this at, let me think, four and a quarter. Nope, sorry, four. Did my measurements wrong. We're gonna score this at four. Again, very lightly. I'm not pushing very hard at all. I just wanna see that score line so I know where to cut it. Okay, then I'm going to measure up the score line I just made with the four inch mark and I'm going to score again. And then I'm going to take this end piece and I'm going to cut off about a well, let me look here. This is a quarter of an inch. I'll just trim that off. I need a bone folder and very carefully I'm going to find these score lines that I just made. And what you're going to do is fold this paper in thirds on your score lines. And it should line up. So what you have here is um, an unfold that's opening like this. If you want, you could also make your card like this, okay? Now, I am going to take some vellum and I am going to glue this. Somehow this got some ink on it. That's all right, you can barely see it. I'll put it over the pink flower. We're going to glue this. I think that I... Five by... Oh, it should be five by three. All right, that's why it looks so big. I'm like... No. Yeah, there we go. Okay, five by three. So it's gonna be a, a bigger gap on the top and the bottom than you have on the sides, okay? And I am going to glue this down, but not yet. Not yet, I had to think for a minute about how I'm doing this. Okay, so let me grab my night of. Maybe it's gonna go here and my, here we go. These are the pieces I need. Okay. A lot of layers to this card. I'm like all discombobulated today. It's a Monday. Did you guys have a case of the Mondays today? Let me tell you, after I got back from my vacation, whew, it's like, I don't even know what's going on. I'm using my baby boss for this card, you guys. Oh, I'm so excited. This thing's only 60 bucks. And of course, celebration going live tomorrow. You can get this tomorrow. It goes on your desktop super easy. It's like the size of a purse. You can see my hand is as big as this 
little baby boss. So cute. My friend Kathy called it the baby boss. I'm like, ooh, I'm gonna have to call it that too. Um, <clears throat> just like the big boss, the sides fold down. It comes with all the stuff you need to make your sandwich. So I'm gonna make my sandwich. I'm gonna die cut this piece. Let's see. There we go. Yeah, so this little baby boss goes live tomorrow too. 60 bucks, which means you'll get a free celebration item. Awesome. Okay. Let me put my little guys away here. Set these out of the way. Okay. These out of the way. All right, now we're going to do a little stamping. If I can find my platform that I've been stamping on. So I'm going to grab this smaller. Is this right? Yeah, I think I cut the wrong. You know what, you guys, I cut the wrong darn. Well, we're going to try this again because I cut the wrong size. Frame one out. I'm telling you, I got a case of the Mondays really bad today. Okay, so let's try this again. The good news is that this will fit right in here because I don't have a lot of wiggle room to work with. I'm just gonna grab one of my post-its here and secure these down because I don't want that to move around on me while I'm stuffing it in my baby boss here. Sharon love these guys too. I know they're amazing. Pretty. I think I'm going to save that. <clears throat> Should we try this again? <laughs> I'm almost afraid to do my stamping. Okay, I've got that piece of Whisper White here, and I am going to grab my Rococo Rose and my Knight of Navy. In here, I've got Happy Birthday, it's the stamp set I'm going to use. You always need a birthday cards on hand to just grab as you're heading out the door sometimes. Oops, I got a little fuzzy on my stamp here. Okay. So stamp this. Cute, cute, cute. I really, really like that font and that image on the happy birthday. All right. And let's grab these stars. these little star bursts. And I'm gonna stamp this, much like I did on the last card. Stamp off first, and then stamp across the front. Now, um, my finger must have been in the Knight of Navy. So we've got a little Knight of Navy fingerprint here. I guess I'll just call that my uh, signature, my artist signature for the card that my fingerprint is right on it. 
I just re-inked my Night of Navy today. It's a little juicy, so no big deal. I'm going to glue this down. Right into the center of our layer, like so. What are you thinking so far? I know this has a lot of layers. I usually make a lot simpler cards. I promise the next one is going to be simpler than this. Okay. Now, the reason I did this part first is because I don't want people to see my glue on my vellum. So what I'm doing right now is, and actually let me do this on a piece that's less busy. I am lining up where, it's gonna go like this, see? On my vellum, this is gonna go so I know where to put my glue. Okay, a little trick for you guys. And then I'm going to glue this down on the front of my card, like so. You can see the glue now, but it's no big deal. Now, the crinkled seam binding is not new. <laughs> it's not in the spring catalog that's coming out, but it is super versatile. So I wanted to show you how a lot of your goodies that you probably have on hand from the big catalog are gonna combine with some of these celebration products and some of the newbies that are coming out. So this crinkled seam binding has been a go-to for a lot of projects for me because it's nice and neutral and it's just so pretty and simple. It's pretty easy to tie. And I'm just tying this in a bow. And then once it's in a bow, I like to go back and adjust my loops to the size I want them. There. And then trim off the ends. Okay. So let me just show you this for a minute before I glue more stuff down. I only tied this around the front flap. Okay, just like that. Hi, Joanne, welcome. Thanks for joining. You are catching me right in the middle of a fun fold that I made. And after this, I've got a really beautiful but simple card using like all free stuff. And I think you guys are really gonna love it. All right, now, pop these dimensionals on the back and glue this puppy, adhere him right to the card, like that. All right, now I am going to take my seal. I am going to, I think I used too much, but I'm going to center this on my piece of Knight of Navy. And again, that piece is five and a quarter by, sorry, five and a half by four and a quarter. So it's centered here, like so. When you open it, you're going to get to see both sides of the designer series paper. Now, what I did here is, let me think. Yes, I kind of like this. Yep. All right. <clears throat> so I've got a piece of the, sorry, Blushing Bride, and this is three and a quarter by five. And then a piece of Whisper White that's four and three quarters by three. We've got these starbursts, and I think that a card like this is really wonderful for when you have a lot of people 
who you want to sign the card. So at work, I made a retirement card for um, someone who had worked uh, with me and at the company for quite some time. There were so many people who were going to be um, signing that retirement card. So I made it trifold so that there was more um, spots to sign. And I left a lot of the spaces blank except for like the corners and the edges, just like I've done here. So all sorts of people can sign this. And then I'm gonna center this right here in the middle. And then I have a piece of four and three quarters by three blushing bride. And I'm going to do the same thing. So we're bringing in a couple different colors, and this is light enough that people could very easily sign this. Or you could type, um, or type right up a handwritten note on here. All sorts of things you can do because there's all sorts of space. Now, if you wanted to stamp this up more, you definitely could do that too. Oh, I hear those angels singing with my seal. I'm so happy to have it back. And I'm just going to center that as best I can here on this layer. And this card is done. Took a little bit to get there, but isn't that adorable? And it fits right in a normal envelope an A1 envelope or A2, I think they're called. What do you think? How do you like this fun fold? I was playing around with this design and I made one on a soft sea foam base. So here I stamped a little bit in here as well. See how you can see this looks like all stamped and pretty. Cute, huh? And I also made one with our new, oh, what is this called? Okay, these are Golden Garden Acetate Sheets, and they are designed to go right over the top of, I gotta find them. Why can't I find them here? Oh my gosh, I can't think of the name of the paper. Here it is. Fine Art Floral Designer Series Paper. This stuff is gorgeous. And oops, I'm going to be creating with this. Love this shoot. This is new in the spring catalog. I love the painted look of this stuff. Oh my gosh. So beautiful. I love it when designer series paper can do all the work for you because it is that pretty. And I started buying two packs every time I buy it so that I'm not afraid to cut it up. But anyway, here's how this one looks. This one, the glue came off a little bit. My liquid glue, I didn't get it far enough in the corner. Isn't that pretty? Um, and this one, I just made this five and a half instead of mounting it on um, a cardstock base. But I feel like when I mount it on a cardstock base, it's a little sturdier. And I think I personally kind of like that a little better. This ribbon's new too. Isn't that pretty? It's like all shimmery and glittery. Oh, I love it. So there's a few fun folds for you. So there you have it, this adorable trifold card a lot simpler than you think. If you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to earn your business. It is my passion to help coach your creativity and inspire you. Um, you can check out more inspiration from me on my blog, countrycardsbyrose.blogspot.com. Also, just take a minute and subscribe. I think there should be a, 
a picture up there, oh, up there in the corner or down here um, to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And also, if you need supplies, you can go to my blog, countrycardsbyrose.blogspot.com and get a link to shop my online store there. I hope that you have enjoyed this project and have a wonderful day.